What's up besties? My name is Ashley. I'm with AMCX Studio and I want to show you something that changed the game for me. So if you are a sticker maker, you have gone through the process of uploading each individual sticker, creating the layout and going through the whole like print and cut thing in Cricut Design Space. It's a pain, to, especially if you buy the bundle packs like what I'm showing right here. If you have to upload each thing, click accept, click next, put in your tags, it's a lot. <laughs> and I know because I did the same thing until I tried out this trick that I'm going to show you today. If you go to Canva.com, Canva is a free online photo editing resource. It's super simple to use. There's tons of templates, stuff like that. It is definitely worth checking out. But for this, we're going, it's going to be so easy. Let's go. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to buy a sticker pack. If you're already a sticker maker, I'm sure you have tons of these laying around. I grabbed this one yesterday during Design Bundles $1 event. So we're going to be using this inside of this tutorial. We're going to, okay, I'm going to move some things around so that I can see. So we're going to go to canva.com. This is the website I was telling you about. It's completely free to use. They have all sorts of templates that you can use for your social media, your YouTube, your TikToks, um, so, uh, Facebooks, Instagram. There is a insane amount of things in here. It is definitely worth checking out. For this particular project we're working on, we're going to go to create a new design and we're going to do our custom sizes. Now, Cricut Design Space is limited us to print and cut sizes. We have a 9.25 by 6.75. I already have that used, or I recently used that, so it's here, but if you have it, you're gonna to wanna to put those things up here. So when we create our new canvas, this is what it's gonna look like, completely blank. Now, we want to take the designs that we purchased, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I bought these yesterday. I'm gonna take all of these things and literally just drag them into Canva. If we went through this process through Cricut Design Space, you know you're uploading, you're selecting it, you're clicking the next, clicking the print and cut, going through, typing out your tags and things like that, which is very important. I just wanna like side note, putting in tags in Cricut Design Space is uber important. I didn't do that in the beginning and I'm paying for it now. When you type in tags, you can quickly find the things that you want it is a big difference when you use it, but you get getting back on track. So we have all of those files. I'm just going to select all of them and literally just drag it in here. And it's already uploading all of the stuff over here in the, um, the left hand side of the screen. And here are all of our stickers. Now, I don't want these stickers to be huge because they are just little packing stickers. So I'm going to start moving them around. But we need to find out where our white background is. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the white canvas itself. And we're going to hit this little um, rainbow square. This is going to change our background. I'm going to use this gray color because Cricut Design Space is going to pick that up once we download this image. It's going to pick that color up and it's going to eliminate it, creating a nice, easy template. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got our things for shopping small. Um, you can also go through and edit like the space around these because this is a lot of empty empty pixels that we just really don't need and it's going to make it easier when we start bringing in all of them and duplicating it so when you click on a sticker 
you can grab these like long hot dog like handles and drag it closer and that will help eliminate that extra space so cycle through those and now we've got this drop this one in here this one I'm going to put this one down here. I'm also going to link this particular design like set in the description if you're interested in this sticker. Yeah, we are almost done. Okay, so from here, you can straighten out all of these stickers and duplicate it because I really want to get the most out of my stuff. And I think that these are just a little, so these are like two inch by one inch. So I mean, they're not terrible in size, that's about the tallness of a business card so that will that'll be fine so we've got those I'm just gonna duplicate that thing by clicking control C then control V the little shortcuts um, move some more of these so that I can make sure all of this space is taken up. Okay, now we should be good. I'm actually going to change this background just a little bit darker. You shouldn't have to. I want to say that I used the lighter one before and I didn't have a problem, but I just want to make sure that I'm not going to run into any problem. So I'm downloading a PNG image. You could do the JPEG or anything like that, but the PNGs, for me anyways, give out the best quality. So we have that. I'm going to open up a new Cricut window because I already have a project on the side over here going, but I stopped that so that I could show you guys how to do this really quick. Because I'd been taught, I'd talked about it before on TikTok, and I had enough people ask about a um, a complete walkthrough tutorial thing, so I didn't want to miss that again. You go to downloads, and here is the the sticker set. So we do we upload this PNG image, do complex, and then we take out the background, and that's it's removed completely uh, I see I messed up a little bit here but it's okay because I can go back later and change it yeah I cut it up a little bit but it's no big deal because you guys won't make that mistake <laughs> so we continue here's our print and cut image save this as um, Super happy, colorful stickers. Now this is where um, those tags that I talked about earlier are so important. Fill these out because when you go to search, it is not going to pull up the image name. The image name is almost completely useless. Trust me, like the tags is where it's at. So save those tags. Make sure that you're getting anything that you could possibly look for, like future you would look for in two years when you try to find these stickers.
and we're going to pull this in by clicking it, insert image, and here are our stickers ready to go. And it saved it out a little bit big. I've found that cr lately Cricut has been importing my PNG images as really huge. Even some of my SVG files come in really weird. So just make sure that you set your stuff back to where it's supposed to go. So we have that and here we just go through the process of printing the stickers out, cutting them on the Cricut and then you'll have your print and cut stickers. This isn't going to be like a complete video where I show you that like the second leg of this process. I just really wanted to get out here and show you guys how to use Canva to make this part so much easier. Again, if you've ever tried to upload an entire sticker set into Cricut Design Space, pull everything in, it is a pain in the butt. I just found this way easier and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If you enjoyed this tip, please, you know, hit the thumbs up, comment on it, let me know. I appreciate any engagement on this video because it helps YouTube know that, yeah, this is quality stuff and you know gives a little like dopamine boost it makes me happy so a link down below this sticker set a link the facebook group the socials so you guys can like hang out with me in other places um yeah until next time besties bye